Hi, my name is Mark Vivian, and today I'd like to discuss with you the possibility of using an eczema laser in order to integrate the wave front of a patient into the surface of a non-rotational scleral lens while it's on the patient's eye in its resting position. The key thing to note here is lens decentration. Because we're doing this procedure while the lens is on the eye in its resting position, there will be absolutely no need to calculate any lens decentration offsets to apply the wavefront. This procedure would be very similar to laser ablation refractive surgery of a human cornea. The main difference is, is that we would not be removing any cells from the patient, so it's really not surgery. We would be using the eczema laser in order to resurface and reshape and realign the optical center of the scleral lens with the optical center of the patient's eye in order to project a clear picture through the optical system that focuses on the retina. This would eliminate the refractive errors which they had prior to this procedure taking place. In order for us to realign the optical center of the lens with the optical center of the patient, we must first have the patient wear the scleral lens for at least 30 minutes. This will allow the scleral lens to settle into its resting position on the patient's eye. Once this is complete, we will use the aberrometer, preferably a ray tracing aberrometer that's built into the eczema laser in order to create a total wave front. This is the shape that is required to be on the scleral lens in order to cancel out those refractions. So this is the shape that we will be required to use the laser to resurface or sculpt into the top of the scleral lens. Once we have finished creating the wave front of the patient wearing the scleral lens, we will use this wave front in order to resurface and re-sculpt and realign the optics of the scleral lens while it is on top of the patient's eye. If the patient's vision changes in the future, that's not a problem because we can simply swap out the scleral lens and do the procedure again. Currently, this type of eczema laser is being used to remove corneal cells. This may be an issue. We may have to modify the hardware and the software of the eczema laser in order to get it to accurately and at a high enough resolution remove the polymer from the scleral lens. Thanks for watching and please contact me at the email provided.